Hi everyone. We are filming this video tonight um, because we wanted to share Eli's birth story with everyone. He is three weeks old now, a little over three weeks old, and we thought it would be um, a good time to sit down and chat with you guys, share experience, and just, yeah, tell his birth story um, for anyone who is interested in listening. So yeah, so we're gonna give a little bit of context around like kind of our journey during um, our pregnancy with him. And then, um, yeah, we have a, like a few clips here and there that we'll share too, but Very um, few. <laughs> yeah, we actually, I'll just say this now, we, I actually personally wanted to film like more of like the labor and delivery part. Um, but as you're going to find out, he came very, very quickly and, um, I really needed Dan's support. So, so it wasn't, it wasn't a priority. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> screw the <So> video. <laughs> we'll just do this and sit down and talk about it. Um, yeah, it was really quick. So which you're going to hear all about very shortly. So I couldn't say how long ago it was right now, but, uh, Megan first approached me and told me that she wanted to um, potentially have this baby at home um, without the support of, uh, I guess what we call the system. And I, I would say that I was definitely apprehensive and I was probably mostly apprehensive because I think I was scared. There's a lot of things that came in of like things I would be scared of if we did that. Um, so I was, de I was definitely not on board. I wasn't wasn't like, no, we're not doing that. I would never do that. I wasn't like that, but I definitely wasn't <laughs> sold. Mm. <laughs> uh, I was terrified and I thought, what the heck are you thinking? This is dumb and I'm sure you'll come out of it soon. Um, and it took me a while, um, probably until like, I don't know, I'd say the last trimester probably kind of thing, like yeah. until I was really like, okay with it. Um, and now, after having done it, I am very okay with it. Um, probably one of the best experiences of my life. Uh, honestly, we'll share more with it. But um, to anyone who's thinking about doing it, probably would have maybe less fears than I. <laughs> um, like I think the worst kind of thing. and uh, Which is normal. Which is okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. But um, our experience was amazing. And I will say that Megan uh tried very hard at first to get me on board and it didn't work that well um and it really took me experiencing it to now be on board for sure um i don't think i would have changed anything about it mind you that's also just natural uh how do i say that just what naturally happened was also went extremely well mm -hmm. so that's a factor but um it was definitely one of the most ex amazing experiences ever so you can go ahead and tell, start telling the actual story. So just to preface it, um, I've always wanted a home birth with Luca. We tried to um, like get a midwife and we weren't able to. Um, I also had like low platelets and all that. And if you know me at all, um, that was a big part of my pregnancy with Luca. And so even this time, like, I don't think we would have been able to get a midwife because I probably would have had the same thing that I had with Luca um and yeah so this was kind of like our only option to having a home birth was to do it without the assistance of a medical professional um and it took a lot of it wasn't just something that like <laughs> like I chose to do it and then there was a lot of work that went into it a lot of mental work so it's not something that like you just do <laughs> I don't want people to think that like it's you put a lot of work into it. Um, it's a lot of fears that came up for both Dan and I, like Dan already mentioned. Um, we had to, we had a lot of conversations about it. We had a lot to like <laughs> just work through and discuss. And me personally, I had a ton of things to work through um, regarding Luca's birth. And anyways, I can always dive deeper into that in a separate video if that's something that um, you guys are interested in. But yeah, it's, it, yeah, it was, it's not just something that you like get up one morning and you're like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Not for me anyways. Well, um, like I already said, it also took me the first, mm -hmm. well, the first six months at least to kind of yeah. just be okay with like, okay, we're doing this regardless of what I think. Yeah. And then it I took me the last, determined. the last little bit. Yeah. It took me the last little bit to 
get comfortable. Mm -hmm. I will say when it actually happened, I was Amazing. surprised by myself. I was extremely comfortable by Very the time calm. it actually <laughs> happened. Yeah. But that would not have been the case if it was even just two months before that. Yeah. I would totally. say. Yeah. Yeah. It takes, it takes time. And that's. I didn't do as much work. I wouldn't say. Yeah. I did mental. Like I thought, but I didn't do prompted work as much as you mm -hmm. or anything. But yeah, it definitely takes. It took time. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. For sure. Go ahead. Okay. So, um, in the last video that we shared, it was actually the day before he was born. So it was <laughs> the apple. Yeah. Or apple picking, we went apple picking. Thanksgiving adventure. So yeah, he was born Thanksgiving <laughs> weekend. Which I did say in that video, I think yeah, you, yeah. this might induce labor, Yeah, which I did not like, know that that was actually what, eight hours before it probably. That, yeah, it, it was. It started, I mean. It wasn't eight hours. Oh no, it would have been like. 36 hours before. No, not 36. Sorry. No, it would have been like yeah. 10 or 12. Yeah. Anyways, time is blurry. <laughs> but yeah, it was like the day before and yeah, yeah, we were apple picking and I had gone to the car and Dan goes, this might induce labor. And I was like, oh, I guess we'll see. It was like but on like, the hill and we were yeah. walking a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but I like, I didn't have any signs of labor. So this was very different compared to Luca's preg or Luca's labor and delivery. <laughs> Your pregnancy with Luca. Yes. We understand. Um, where I was, I felt like Braxton Hicks, I think like three days before. So still like decently close to when he was born. But with Eli, I literally <laughs> didn't have a single sensation or feeling of, of labor of any type. Like I had some like crampiness, but I wouldn't really like call that. Like a couple times over a couple days. Yeah. Or like a two days maybe. Yeah. But it was literally just like cramping. Like it was, it was not like they weren't current contractions. I wouldn't even call them Braxton Hicks. Like they, yeah, it was just like And it cramping. wasn't that much. No, it, I could just feel that things were getting ready. That's the best way to put it. Yeah. So the day before we went apple picking, um, it was, unbeknownst to us our last day as a family of three which is super special that we like filmed i don't that. know yeah we yeah. filmed it we it like cool. we spent like the day together we had a good day it was super fun we did we got oh my goodness lucas snacks <laughs> from earlier <laughs> an almond <laughs> we um like got food from our favorite favorite food truck and like did a bunch of things so super fun um so that yeah that was the day before then we went to bed Kind of like normal like nothing was different at that point it was like 11 30 maybe when we went to bed that night oh midnight like around <laughs> i there. have no idea <laughs> okay well it was around there and then i woke up at two o'clock and i woke up to my very first um contraction or sensation so that is basically the start of my labor um would you call it a contraction at that point? Yeah. It was? Okay. Oh, yeah. See, oh, yeah. I was asleep. <laughs> yeah, he didn't know. So, well, yeah. No. not at that point anyways. So, at 2 o'clock, I woke up. I went to the bathroom. I came back into bed. I was kind of, like, on my hands and knees, just, like, breathing through them. But, like, I was already having to, like, concentrate and breathe, breathe through the contractions. And, like, it had been, like, 10 minutes since I was awake. Like, it was crazy. L literally... I will add, like, the, I literally didn't wake up until, or how do I say that? I woke up to Megan on her hands and yeah. knees. Like, I was not awake before that. So, yep. it's not like it was anything long enough to give me time to wake up. Like, I woke up and she was on her hands and knees looking at me sideways like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I think it's happening. <laughs> So at like quarter after two, so about 15 minutes later, I send a text message. So we actually um, worked with a birth keeper, um, which is basically like what a traditional midwife would have been way back in the day. Um, she doesn't have any medical training or anything like that. She was here to help and support us in whichever way we needed. Um, she was amazing. <laughs> Um, so at quarter after two, I texted her and her name's Kirby Lee. So I texted Kirby Lee and I was like, I think, like, I think this is starting. And she was like, okay, like keep me posted. So I was like, all right. So I went back, um, like, like not, I didn't go back. I was still in bed at this point. And that's when I, I think maybe around two 30, 
time like I don't re really remember times that well but around 2 30 I was like that's when I, I woke Dan up and I was like Dan like I think this is happening like I've already texted Kirby Lee and the reason I was kind of like I woke him up which not that he would know but I was like I think I should call my parents <laughs> and obviously he's like oh okay <laughs> <laughs> I think I thought I don't really care go ahead yeah exactly <laughs> go wake them up not me <laughs> So no, I think I think I just was still asleep and not awake and had no idea what had happened yet. And we also like Luca's labor was pretty quick, but we didn't know. Obviously, you just never know. But yeah. like we didn't know how my body would respond with just being at home in an undisturbed environment versus being at the hospital. So anyways, it was just hard to know. Like it could have taken longer and that that was not the case, but um, we were not expecting it to be like that full force that quickly. So, um, I ended up calling my parents at around 2.40. So they were about seven hours away. They were at my grandparents. Um, and so they were even further than like their own house. So we called them or I called my mom and, um, she actually hung up on me the first time and then like called right back right away she was like oh my goodness that was Megan like so she like called me right back and she's like what's up and then I was like I think this is happening and she's like all right like we're not <laughs> taking any chances like we're gonna get in the car and drive there so I was like okay so they their house was like on their way to us so they were gonna stop there um because my dad was actually gonna stay at home he wasn't coming just my mom so that was around 2.40. So after that, I decided to um, come downstairs and I actually have a small video clip. So I'm going to insert that right now so that you guys can see, um, yeah, what I was doing. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm starting to have some contractions. It's Sunday morning. Um, my parents... shower for maybe like I don't even know how long to be honest 10 15 minutes yeah it wasn't super duper long but told me oh I'm yeah go in the shower it's gonna be more comfortable or whatever like yeah. I'm just gonna go sit in the shower for a bit it's gonna be nice and like like I'll let you know if I need you but like it, I, I like just go back to sleep and yeah. I thought great I'm going back to sleep then yeah but I didn't have a chance to go back to sleep. No. I literally didn't fall back to sleep, actually. Yeah. So I ended up calling him, like, while I was in the shower. Like, I'd only been in there for a couple minutes. And I was like, these are intense. And so I also have really bad back labor when I'm pregnant, when I'm, I have had both boys. So um, I was, like, on my hands and knees in the shower with the water, like, going onto my back, which felt really, really nice. But I was also having, like, my wrists were really sore and my knees were really sore. Like, the bottom of the tub is decently hard, right? Obviously. <laughs> so, it was, I got sore really, really quickly. So, yeah. All that to say that Dan came down because I called him from the shower and was like, I just need, like, I just need support. Like, I just need to not be alone, basically, is what I wanted. So, he came down. Um, oh, yeah. I said, I said that I was hungry. <laughs> yeah. So I had these like big plans. I was like, I'm going to be at home. I didn't remember I'm gonna, that. I'm going to eat. Like I had energy balls made. I had like all these things. I had my Ningxia on hand to like drink and like. Be able to eat more than ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Because <laughs> at the hospital they give you ice cubes or ice chips. So I was like, I like had all these plans to like eat and drink and just like as much as I wanted while I was in labor. Obviously listening to what my body wanted. Um... But, so I said to Dan, and I was actually kind of hungry, but I was hungry and nauseous. And so I ended up with, I was like kind of scared that I'd throw up, but I ended up um, asking Dan to make me two pieces of toast, which he did make me, but we ended up throwing them out because I never ate them. <laughs> um, so yeah, he, he went and made me toast and then came back in the bathroom and then realized that, did you clean the tub first? No, I came back in and you were like, like, it's like, it's decently intense. Mm -hmm. Like at that point you were starting to not 
not be able to talk through them. Yeah, I couldn't talk uh, through them. And that's like 40 minutes in, yeah. maybe 45 minutes in Yeah, kind of thing, I guess, in that range. Yeah. And then, yeah, Megan told me she was in the shower still. She told me to call Kirby Lee, so we called her yeah. um, to come over. So I called her and said, Megan would <laughs> request your presence at our house, even though it's around almost three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. But she was w awake waiting. Yeah, for a she call, hadn't but... gone back to sleep either after I texted her just after two, so. Yeah, but it was pretty quick. Yeah. So, yeah, so she came over. Um, well, you got out of the shower. Yeah, like, I got. Right away because it wasn't comfortable anymore. Or yeah. And, but, it wasn't really worth it. But even before I got out of the shower, you were upstairs cleaning the tub. Um, so we use our, like, big jacuzzi oh, tub right. upstairs to rinse out our <laughs> Lucas cloth diapers. Um, so... Which will cut to some footage of that right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we won't show you that. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any footage of that. Oh, well, I could film that tomorrow. <laughs> no. Anyways, um, so Dan <laughs> went upstairs and cleaned the tub out because um, I knew that I wanted to get into that, like the big tub upstairs. And that was I where I was planning <laughs> on giving birth. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I was going to say I sprayed the tub. I sprayed the tub with Thieves Cleaner once and wiped yeah. it down and rinsed it out. There's like the shower head kind of thing that comes out so you can spray it around. And then I, so I sprayed it and then I sprayed it a second time with Thieves Cleaner and wiped it out. And then I sprayed it with water and then I sprayed it one last time with Thieves Cleaner <laughs> and wiped it out. Um, he did a thorough job. Really didn't want um, Luca's diaper matter <laughs> in the <laughs> baby birthing water. I think I did a good job. You did a good job. It was very, <laughs> yes, I have to say, it was very well cleaned. Um, not that I was super concerned in, in that moment, but. Um, so, yeah, so then I got out of the shower, um, went upstairs, and got up onto our bed. So, Dan was doing, like, we had, um, like, a plastic tablecloth to put on our bed, and then just, like, an old sheet um, to put over top to, like, hold it in place. So Dan had gotten that already too at the same time. Um, so I, I just got on the bed and I was on my hands and knees, um, like kind of like leaning forward onto a pillow and that felt really nice because I could just, yeah, it just felt really nice. I felt, it felt relaxing. So I was, I labored, I don't even know, maybe for a few contractions on the bed. It was not very long. No, it was not uh, very Kirby long. Lee showed up. And then Kirby Lee showed up. So Before she came I was upstairs. done making the bed actually, but. Yeah. And, um, like pretty much right after she showed up, I was like, I think I want to get into the bath. So one of like my fears was I didn't want to get into the bath too quickly. Cause I had like heard of other people, like you get in too quickly and then you get tired of the bath and you want to get out. And then I didn't want to do like this in and out, in and out. Um, but I was like, do you know what? Like, I just, I feel like it's going to help a lot. Um, like the sensations were so intense. Um, it really picked up really, really quickly. I never timed my contractions. Um, that was one thing actually that Kirby Lee mentioned, like, don't look at the time, like, don't worry about time. So that's why I honestly don't know when a lot of these things happened. Um, I kind of have some reference points, but I don't have like exact time frames. Um, so yeah, so, and, and in, I never timed my contractions. So I don't know how far apart they were. I was just letting my body do its thing and not worrying about, oh, I'm five minutes apart. Oh, I'm three minutes apart. Oh, I'm two minutes apart. All that. Like, I did not worry about that. Um, and I obviously also did not worry about like dilation or anything like that. So, um, Kirby Lee filled up the tub. It took a few minutes just to do that. Cause it's a it decently takes big like, tub. <laughs> it's like probably 10 or 12 minutes yeah. for it to be full enough yeah. for a water birth yeah yeah because yeah you need like a decent amount of water in like there 12 inches or something right in it. yeah a good yeah. foot yeah like oh. deep that yeah yeah so yeah then, it took a long time to fill the tub so then once that was filled i got right in the tub and which was like maybe around four yeah by that time by the time you got we're done in the shower Might have been a got little upstairs after four. got upstairs filled the tub I think it was maybe a little after four, but yeah, it was. Because Kirby Lee late. arrived, I like looked back at my text to see, like, because she said, like, like I'm on my way or something like that. And, hmm. or no, I had texted her around quarter to four or something like that. Anyways, and she still wasn't here. So, four, 4.15-ish, I got in the tub. 
um, and yeah, was in there for the rest of the time.